So my topic is today using AI tools for academic research. So I can say that I will share some tools today. There are various type of AI tools, but during the last three years, I have selected more important tools that are very much effective for the researchers. And no te uh, AI technological concept is required to access these tools. Okay. So if you say I am uh, from uh, arts, I am from commerce, so there is no need such type of comments. Anyone can use these AI tools. Non-technical person can also this, use AI tools. Actually, these AI tools will use to make your research more productive so that you can easily do your literature review. You can summarize your article. You can cite the paper as per the um, AI rule using the various type of formats like APA, MLA, IEEE, uh, Springer, uh, Plauson, whatever you have. So in order to access these tools, you just need a computer, okay? So this tool is very new tool and whatever I will share with you today, maximum of the tools have been developed during 2022, 22 or 23. So it's a very new tool today. So the main objective, first of all, I am going to share with you what is AI. AI is nothing but a simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer system. So you just use your computer. As you know, we can use any software like three ways. Number one, you can use the software using the online mode. You can use the software by installation, by installing your software on your desktop or you can use the software using the extension, means Chrome extension, Firefox extensions, or ChatGPT. I am going to share with you the uh, ChatGPT also, but not in details because due to time lapse, I will share the huge tools here. So again, I am telling the participants that no artificial intelligence technology uh, concept or knowledge is required to access these tools. Okay, so why should uh, we use these tools? Actually, the, the tools uh, play vital role to make your research more productive and uh, more uh, faster. And you can easily do literature review in a minute. Because as you know, the, in order to complete the literature review, it will take three months or four months, but you can do it within a five minutes or 10 minutes. So uh, if, besides, you can also generate your title, because as you know, when you write the paper or article, it is very difficult for a researcher to give the proper title for a entire research paper. So I will show you some tools. You just paste the entire paper, and that tool will produce the title. Besides, it is very much uh, important for a researchers to provide the abstract for the entire paper. And sometimes it is very difficult to write within a particular word uh, to write the abstract. So in order to alleviate all those problems, you can use these AI tools so that you can generate the abstract in a seconds of your paper, and that, that are very much effective. So such type of activities you can do with the help of these AI tools. And no technical knowledge required to use these AI tools. So uh, today you have already heard the generative AI tools, means ChatGPT. Okay, so what is ChatGPT? What is Bing AI? What is Cloud AI? What is Perplexity? How can you use such type of tools in proper way? So today I am going to share with you such concepts. Okay, and if you face any problem or if you face any challenges, you can ask me any questions, whatever you have regarding the topics. Okay, so by offering 
and I will um, tell you the tools name and their apps. But maximum, we will use the tool here that is an online tool. And it is a premium version, premium version, whatever you can choose, it will depend on you. But uh, maximum for the time being, it is a free tool. But you have to pay sometimes if you want to do more or you, if you want to take more advanced technologies. OK. So suppose what is, um, we can do, suppose you have, you have 10 papers. But suppose you are searching for a keyword, the application of blockchain technology in open educational resources system. So once you give the input to Google, Google will produce you more than three or two, two crore results. So for a particular researcher or for students, it is not possible to select the relevant and proper paper from the search engine result page as per your keyword. Because from true code results, it is not possible for a researcher to select five papers that are more relevant to the content. So you can use various type of AI tools to solve this matter. So by offering suggestions, feedback, and inspiration for writing, presenting, and visualization data, AI apps stimulate creativity and foster innovative thinking. So you just use the AI apps or tools for your data analysis, you can use, because as you know that you have already heard the term chat GPT, but you just at present using chat GPT version 3.5, because, and you will get, once you use the chat GPT version 3.5, you will get the information only up to 2021 September. Okay, but recently chat GPT has developed a code interpreter if you use such code interpreter, then you just upload your Excel file or CSV file, then you can analyze whatever you want to access from that file. You just write the questions, and from that Excel file, ChatGPT will produce the analysis of your data. So AI tools aid in data analysis, literature review, Literature review means you just put the name of the topic and then just select the uh, comprehensive literature review. And within a minute, you will get the entire literature review, including the latest citation and the previous citations also. So within one page, you will get the literature review of your topics. But Google doesn't have any databases. So Google never will uh, produce in front of you such type of literature review, or Google Scholar doesn't have any databases. They only scroll the entire things, and they produce the results in front of you. So in order to access these tools, you just select your what type of uh, activities you want to do. If you want to do data analysis, then there are several types of AI tools. If you want to do literature review, there are several AI tools. Source assessment, error detection. Suppose you have already written the content of your research using the chat GPT. But if you, you don't know whether this chat GPT has been AI detected or not, so you have to go through the tool of AI detector. So you just use the AI detector tool and AI detector tool will tell you how much content you have copied or how much content you have generated using the AI tools. So the main concept today, whatever tool you use AI tools, main concept you have to have, that is a generative AI. Generative AI is nothing but a content, means you are just giving the input to the Software, a software in turn will produce the results. That is the generative AI. Means you are just giving the, suppose you write in the chat GPT format that is called the prompt. Here, here see. This is a chat GPT interface. Okay. So as I have a membership, a subscribe 
part. So that is why I have, I have selected GPT-4. GPT-4 means you will get the latest information with the internet. And GPT-3.5, this is a paid version. Or 3.5 is the free version. But 3.5 is a little bit slow. And you will get only information up to September 2021. And there is no internet. They use internet while provide the data. So this is the chat GPT, and you just see whatever I am saying. This this one message chat GPT. This one is called the prompt engineering part. Prompt engineering means suppose I am writing here the gift the application of blockchain technology in OER, then just enter here. Or you can design a database schema You just see here, okay? I just cited the application of blockchain technology in OER. This one is called the prompt. And this is the input you are giving to the chat GPT system. Once you put the chat GPT system application of blockchain technology in open educational research system, it will produce such type of results, okay? So this one is called the prompt engineering. Whatever prompt you have, if you give the proper way, you will get the proper result from the chat GPT version. Or anyway, it's a perplexity. So I am also going to use the perplexity tool. You just see here, the application of blockchain technology in OER. This tool name is the perplexity. This tool provides you the information using the internet. Means as equivalent as the chat GPT-4. But you just see here. I just type and enter. You just see. This is the result perplexity tool, AI tool is giving you the application of blockchain technology in OER. And in turn, you can also ask the follow-up questions. Once you write the application of blockchain technology in AR as an input to the perplexity tool, perplexity tool accepts the application of blockchain technology in OER as a prompt and then produce the result. And besides, not only produce the result, besides, it will also give you the sources from where they have collected this data. So generative AI is nothing but a content. They will extract from the paper or various type of trade paper and they will produce you the content, not extracting. They will extract the content and they will paraphrase, remix it, then, and then, then they will produce the results. So this is the perplexity AI tool. Perplexity AI tool is a very important tool and it is a free tool. And if you want to uh, try pro version, then you have to upgrade for image upload, 
smarter AI. Suppose you have to upload your image, then you have to uh, upgrade your uh, pro version. Otherwise, it is entirely a free tool. So here, application of blockchain of technology in OER, you just see these are sources. You can also click on the sources. And besides, they will also produce the results. Not only produce the result, in addition to that, they have also gives you the references. Here, just see, this is the references of this system. And you also get the related questions. Means you just see, I just type application of blockchain technology, okay, in open educational resources, they produces the sources, they produces the results, and besides they also produces the related, related questions against this input, application of blockchain technology in OER. You just see, this is a related questions. They have already given you the three related questions. The example of open educational resources that have been implemented using blockchain technology. How can blockchain technology improve the security of open educational resources? What are the challenges of implementing blockchain technology in open educational resources? So there are three related questions have already been surfaced in front of you. So this is this are very important tool. Not only that, if you are not satisfied with these answers, then again, you can ask the follow-up questions or you can start questioning regarding the OER. So you just uh, uh, type here, what is OER? Okay, then click here. So again, in turn, you will get the results of what is OER. So it's a very important tool and it is using the present information. So you, you will get the present information from the internet. So what does perplexity do? Perplexity provides you the sources, provides you the answers, provides you the related questions. If you are not satisfied or if you want to know more about the OER, then again, you can start asking uh, follow-up questions using this tool. So the beauty of the tool is it's a very uh, easily, you can know technical, technological concept is required to use these tools. So whatever you want to get the information using this tool, you can just type the questions. Questions means that is the call the prompt or input. Once you give the input, it will produce four facets, uh, four uh, persons, sources, answers, related questions and ask follow-up questions. Like this way, you can get, and besides, you will also get the references. So perplexity is a very important tool, and that is the AI-based tool. So whatever today I am going to share with you, every tools are AI tools, AI-based or AI-powered. So perplexity is AI-powered tool. If you want to know more, suppose understanding over here, just click here, understanding over here. So you will be taken to the new page from where they have collected the data. But they did not copy the data. They have just collected, extracted the content. And after extracting, they have remixed, they have paraphrased, and as per their AI, generative AI produces the same results against your keyword. So perplexity is very important tool, as like as ChatGPT. For, but GPT is very much fast and uh, it's a very good tool. And again, another tool that is called the Bing AI. Bing AI. If you want to use the Bing AI, then you can use Microsoft Use, Microsoft Edge. Okay. So Bing AI is important tool, you just see the interface of the Bing AI here. So Bing AI, there are three modes available and you have to choose the conversation style. Once you, if you want to use for research, if you want to write a letter, if you want to uh, write a content, con for content writing, 
you have to you use the mode which is more creative here there are three conversation style more creative more balanced and more precise you just use the more creative portions for being ai so being ai just write your uh, questions here you write a, a cl as only letter for me you just see here but being ai provide provides you the latest information because it uses the internet also besides is tends content okay so being ai yeah, the tool produced by the microsoft word and it is it's a fully free tool so you can ask any questions you can ask references but you have to keep in mind the hallucinations hallucinations means the if you once you give the input to the software software will produce the result using the generative ai but sometimes you have to check manually because it will produce some hallucinates results that is the more important things you have to keep in mind and you just check manually that the content whether you have received is right or not or you have to check sometimes the references because it produces the hallucinates version of the results okay so this is the bing ai tool And now I am going to share with you some tools that is that is called the Humata AI. Now in this section, I will tell you, suppose you have downloaded four or five papers, okay? And it, it will take time to read the entire paper. So in order to elevate these issues, you can use this tool, okay? That is called the Humata. Humata, chat PDF, academic chat GPT, or there are some other tools I will share with you. This tool lets you extract the content of the research paper or based on your questions. Or you can start questionings using the papers, whatever you have uploaded. Suppose you have five papers, you have uploaded five papers, then you can start questioning from these five papers only. Because these five papers will already trained by the software and you can start questioning whatever you want to take or whatever you want to extract from the paper. Means you have a PDF paper, you just upload your PDF paper. I have uploaded this paper. The name of the paper is Enhancing SCF with Privacy, Preserving and Splitting Enable Evils on Blockchain. The name of the paper is this one. And now you see, once you upload this paper, the Humata AI software already gives you two questions. Here, what is SCF? And how does bill chain address the challenges faced by e-bills in supply chain finances on this paper? And this paper I have downloaded, it's a very new paper, 19th August 2023. Once you upload the paper, you can start questioning or you can, get, if you want to take answer from this paper only, then you can use the ask, you can ask any question. So what is SCF? Again, I am saying what is? 
SCL. And then click here. You just see it is just, it will take few seconds to produce the results. Just see, okay? It not only give you the gives you the result, it will also gives you the references also. Here is the references. So I just type what is SCF using this prompt engineering section, and this SCF content have collected from this paper, but not extracted. They have extracted the content and then generate the output. Okay, so that is the beauty of the tool. If you see, if we when we use the Google, if you do what is SCF, Google will give you what one crore or two crore results, and then not, not only give you the results, besides they also produce the various type of citations. So which one is better from the SAP page? SAP page means whatever you get during your search, that is called the SARP, S-C-R-P, SARP page, means search engine result pages. So from search engine result pages, there are more results. So it is very difficult to choose the relevant one. So that is why you just upload your paper using the Humata AI tool, that is the new AI tool, and then you start questioning whatever you want to receive from the paper for your research. So it's a nice tool. This tool name is Humata AI. So till now, I just already described chat GPT, Bing AI, Perplexity, and Humata AI. They all are AI tools. But whatever I have mentioned during my uh, first session that no technical concept is required to access this tool. You just upload your paper and then collect the information from the paper. It's a very a nice tool, and you can also use, you see the view highlights of this answer, from this answer. If you want to copy, then you can also copy it. So using this paper, whatever you have uploaded, you can get the answer from this paper if you put the questions to the Homata AI software. OK. so. This is the generative AI approach based software. Means you just give the input. Once the, you give the input, against the input, it will extract the content from the paper or large language models. Using the large language models, they will give you the proper results against this tool. So it's a nice tool, Humata AI. Again, I am going to share with some tool that is the unreadable. If you see the unreadable tool, there are various types. You have, here you have also upload or import your files into your library. Same tool as like a Humata, but you can create a note here and you can also import the results. So this is the mechanism. This is a tool. One I have already uploaded the sample things and create a new one. So GDPR official legal text, you just click here. So this is the paper. And using this tool, you can also 
write the upload or write new tool. If you want to write, then you just use your email ID. So as I see at the red KLY, you need I dot ac dot in this is my email id and you will get the code okay hold on Anyway, so you will get a code here. New, write, if you want to write, then it will take time. So, New, just write. Okay. So suppose you want to write, you want to write something about, suppose open educational resources. You just write here the file name OER. Then here you write the open educational resources okay then you just type plus plus so this tool automatically write for you okay so the unreadable tool there are various type of methods available in the tool first of all here i just write the new write New right here, I write the OER. Whatever you want to write regarding the topics, you just give the name of the file, suppose blockchain. This is the file name. And I want to write about the blockchain technology, then it will automatically write about the blockchain technology. Just see here, blockchain technology. Then you just type plus plus. You just see. I just type only blockchain technology, then uh, type plus, plus double plus. This tool already produces blockchain technology, a decentralized distributed ledger system that security records. And this is the generative AI. Means this tool extract the content from the internet or, or train model, then they produce the content in front of you. So this is the unreadable AI tool. Unreadable AI tool lets you write. It will enhance your academic writing. It will to make your academic writing more fast. It will help you to generate the content. And you can also see here the imports unlimited. So these are the file I have created today. That is the OER. You see OER. This is the OER tool. You can delete, rename, or select. I just type the open educational resources and it produces this tool. So once you select this content, once you write the, once you get the result, you just see and then you can AI edit. You can edit it. You can see the references. You just see the references, okay? No results. 
or Savoy Open Education Resources. Okay. I want to do AI edit. AI edit means you can improve your writing. You can expand concept. Suppose whatever concept I have now within this definition, you can expand that concept also. You can summarize. Suppose these are the definition of OER and I want to summarize it. So just click summarize. You just see, this is the summarized portion of this version. This entire paragraph has been summarized as like this way. So you can summarize, you can expand concept, you can improve writing using the AI edit options. You just select this paragraph and you will get the AI edit. Once you click the AI edit, you can also paraphrase. If you want to paraphrase this entire paragraph, then you just click here the paraphrase, okay? Once you click the paraphrase, you see the paraphrase version of this entire OER definition. So here using this tool, it's a nice tool. You can also upload your uh, paper new, then you can just upload your paper from here. So import file from where you can upload your paper using the URL. You can paste the text or you can also upload the direct PDF file. So once you upload the PDF files, from that files, you can start asking any uh, questions regarding the research topics you want to access from these files only. So Unreal AI is a nice tool for the researcher because it will not only uh, give you the enhancement, uh, not only give you the result, it will also improve your academic writing. It will also paraphrase your entire version. It will summarize, suppose you have a 100 lines and if you want to summarize it in 20 lines, it will also help you to do that. So Unreal AI is a nice tool you can use and it's a very new tool. And you can write a new note, add files into your library. So Unreal helps you read, write, and run faster using the latest artificial intelligence concept. So Unreal is a nice tool. So Humata AI, Unreal, Chat PDF, and uh, SciSpace, those tools are very useful for a researcher to improve their academic writing to get the paper summarized and to paraphrase the paper because paraphrasing is one of the most important things in order to avoid the plagiarism. Okay, so if you may paraphrase the content, so you can reduce the plagiarism from other contents. So Unreal is a, another tool. I just discussed. So now I am going to discuss with you, this is the Claude, Claude AI tool. Claude AI tool is also a nice tool, but it is a talk to Claude. Claude AI tool is as like as the chat GPT, Bing AI or Gemini. Gemini means Google Bard. Google Bard has also, they have uh, recently developed the generative AI tool to produce the content. So this is my email address, SIC. Okay. Claude is developed by the Anthropic Company. It's a nice tool. Just loading. If you want to log in, uh, log in here. So,
So you have to give the mobile number and you will receive the SMS. Okay, seven nine five six nine seven nine five six nine. So they have verified the code. Once you give the number, they will give they will send you the SMS code. And I just put enter the SMS code to access these tools. So Cloud AI is very fast tools and it gives you less hallucinates version. Okay. So you can start asking your research questions. If you want to add the references, you can also do that using the various common prompt. Actually, whatever giving you the input to the software, that is called the prompt. And if you give the proper prompt, that is called the prompt engineering. If you give the proper prompt, then you will get the proper results, relevant results or accurate results. It will depend on the tool. Suppose, try this, you can summarize the PDF document using this tool. You can uh, write here, help me practice my Spanish vocabulary, explain how this Python game works. So summarize PDF document, start a new chat. So I'm going to write here the application of blockchain technology in open educational resources. And then just click. Here just, okay, this is the results. You just see the results. So this, this is the cloud tool. It's a nice tool. And for business purpose, it's a very good tool, cloud. Because it gives you hallucinates very less. You just see. I just write the application of blockchain technology and open educational resources. They have already gives you this portions. So you can retry it. You can copy it. You just copy here and then paste your, and you can start another question here. How can, how can how can we create How can you create OER? Then just click here. So second time, this is the content. How can we create OER? So creating OER involves several steps and considerations. They have already gives you in front of you. If you use such type of uh, procedures, then you can make the OER content. So like this way, this tool also helps you to produce the more content or it will enhance the academic writing or it will also enhance the literature review concepts. So these are the another tools. So when you want to generate, suppose you write a text message. Once you write the text message, once the text message is executed, you will get the picture or image. So which tool? I can use to do such type of activities. That is the tool name is Dull E, D A L L Dull E or Mid Journey. So if you use the Chat GPT here, see Chat GPT four already they are integrated with Dali browsing analysis limit three per hours. So this is the tool Chat GPT. They have already integrated Dull E. 
if you don't want to use the Delhi, then you can also use the Mid Journey. Mid Journey Delhi tools give you opportunity to get the image from the text. You just write the text command. This AI tool will produce the image. Okay. So that is the beauty of the tool. Now I am going to share with you another tools. The tool name is Rightful. So there are various types of widget available. Suppose I want to generate the title of the paper. I want to generate the abstract of the paper. I want to generate the formal informal languages. Whatever I have written for my paper and I want to make it formal. So in order to make it formal, you have to use the right foot tool. So right foot tool, there are various types of widgets to generate the title of the paper, to generate the abstract of the paper, to make the formal, informal writing to formal writing. So various types of research activities are involved if you use this tool, AI tools. So like I am going to share with you some tools that you just write the right full. And I, I am going to generate the abstract generator, okay? So if you see, there are two parts of the tool. The left-hand side, you just paste your paper from your introduction up to the, up to and including your conclusion. But from introduction to conclusion, you just copy the paper and just paste here in this window, okay? Because your data is safe and secure. Because the data is fully encrypted and never stored. They have already, rightful have already mentioned, they do not store any type of data or they have used a fully encrypted data. So you just paste your body of the paper here and click the generate abstract it will give you the abstract of your paper. So I am going to share with you some example. This is the example. Let's see. I have just pasted the entire paper from introduction to conclusion, right? Now I am going to generate the abstract using this tool against my entire paper because I did not submit my abstract. I only paste here the, from introduction to conclusion. Once you pull, um, paste the introduction to conclusion, then click generate abstract, you will get the abstract right hand side. It will take few seconds to generate the abstract of the entire paper. Just see. You have a paper in left hand side and you have a abstract in right hand side. This is the abstract. Okay. Now, if you want to paraphrase it or if you want to rewrite it, you just copy it from here. Okay. Just copy and then use the chat GPT. Go here and write here. You paraphrase it. Para paste it. Then quotation, then paste your content. Now, then just click here. You just see, it is now paraphrasing the entire abstract. You can also sort the entire abstract within 500 words, 400 words, you just write to the chat GPT and it will give you the same 400 within 400 word content. So you just paraphrase it. You just write here, paraphrase it, then paste the entire abstract. So if you don't want to get access this written portion, then just copy 
go to chat gpt bing ai cloud or perplexity then you can paraphrase it you can rewrite it once you rewrite it then the copy of the rewrite version you can rewrite many times we can also accept the final versions in order to produce the abstract so this is the abstract generator we get and then tool, the name of the tool is rightful so rightful abstract generator generates the abstract from your paper and the paper you just copy from introduction to conclusion and if once you copied the total portion you just paste here and you will get the abstract so abstract generator this is the fully ai based tool okay now i am going to show you another tool that is a title generator how to generate the title of the entire paper okay so title generation is one of the most important things for your paper so you just the information provider black holes generate title rightful title generator processes your abstract and generates a suitable title so once you produce the entire things from abstract to conclusion it will give you the general title and now i am going to show it you the tool academy academizer academizer tool Let's you make your informal content to formal content. Okay. Suppose I am giving you the info turn informal into academic content. Suppose example one. So during my paper writing, I just um, write here the the results of this study are pretty good, and so other fields should also use them. so this is the main things i have written and it is a informal this content is informal now i am going to make it academic formal content you just click the academic and then just see the right hand side it will give you three or four versions formal versions you can choose any one oh, sorry uh, not working properly just see you just write this this one and academy academy h tool produces four versions of this writing just see in conclusion the results of this study are quite promising and so therefore like this way they produces the four versions of the results so like this way you can make your informal content to the academic content you just copy it and paste it in your paper okay you can there are also gpt detector means if you create the content using the chat gpt then gpt detector tells you uh, uh, the the text is original or ai plagiarism so click it here support example text by written okay this portion is written by the human just check it will give you the result just see one person likely this comes from gpt3 gpt4 or chat gpt means the these abhavments and content has already been written by human that is why on such using the gpt detector software gpt detector software tells you the one person likely this comes from gpt3 gpt4 or chat gpt so no ai software has been used 
to create this content. Means this content is already written by the human beings. Okay. Now you see, I am going to select the content from ChatGPT version. This content is generated by the ChatGPT, not the human beings. Okay. So this is not written by a human. The content is fully generated by ChatGPT. Now check if the content. You just see, 95% likely this comes from ChatGPT 3, ChatGPT 4, or ChatGPT. So like this way, whatever content you will generate using the ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity, Bing AI, you just use the GPT detector to detect the, how much uh, persons these tools generated by the AI or generated by human. So GPT director lets you perform such activities so that you can get the real fact whether this one has been written by the human or the AI bot. So Rightful is a very good tools. There are various type of widgets you can use to generate the title. You can use to generate the abstract. You can use to generate the paraphrase of the original version. To make your informal content to the academic writing, you can also use the academic. So there are, there are various tools integrated in one software that is called the Rightful. Okay. Now, perplexity. Now I am going to give you another tool. You can listen your paper. Okay. Means the name of the tool is Audimic. The name of the AI based tool or AI power tool is called the Audimic. Once you use the tool Audimic, Audimic gives you some particular portions and you can listen some particular portions from a entire paper. Suppose you just uploaded a paper, that is 20 pages paper. If you want to just listen the conclusion part, these tools helps you to listen the concludes parts. Just see, I have already uploaded one of my papers towards a decentralized and distributed framework for open educational resources. This is one of my papers, research papers I have uploaded. And now, I want to just access the abstract part, or I just want to listen the abstract part on the way. So just you select the abstract, OK? And now, start. Open educational resources. So it's a nice tool. Means you can read it when you are okay. So is it clear? Any any questions? Any questions from participants? Sir, is there any AI tool like Scholar C? Yes, Scholar C itself is AI tool. Scholar C, TLDR, and uh, Paper Pearl, uh, Paper Digest. There are various type of tools in order to summarize the paper. Okay, Scholar C is one of them. But Scholar C is a very effective, dynamic, and very comprehensive tool. Okay, because once you upload the um, uh, paper to the Scholar C, Scholar C gives you the 
abstract, not only the abstract, the action elements, Twitter portion of the tool, and uh, there are various types of abstract, methodology, uh, conclusions, even they will give you the citations, not only give you the citations, they, all do, they will also inform you whether this paper is your open source or you have to pay or from it is available in Google Scholar, everything you will get from the scholarship once you upload your paper. Now, besides, you can also um, uh, import or export the BibTeX file uh, from the using, the using the paper also. Suppose you want to uh, access the total entire uh, references using the BibTeX file, then you can also import the BibTeX, uh, export the BibTeX file, and you can also import the BibTeX file in Jotaro or Mandalay like this tool, okay? So there are various type of tools available. So generative AI, now I have already discussed Unreadle, and these tools, if you want to interact with research paper, Unreadle, Chat PDF, Humata AI, Chat Doc, such type of tools will help you to interact with your research paper. And whatever any content, any portions of the content, just extract by the generative AI, and it will produce the content in front of you by uh, rephrasing it or rewriting it. So that is very much effective for the research. So now I am going to share with you, uh, some AI tools that is for literature review. To make your literature review fast, now uh, the literature. So using your citations, you can explore academic literature using the insightful tools. Insightful tools you can use to make your uh, literature review more faster and to accelerate your research literature review, you can use the ins insightful XYZ tool. So to in order to access these tools, insightful, corrected papers, the literature, consensus, kinias, site, elicit, iris.ai, research rabbit, all these tools are very good tools and they will give you the paper against the citation cited paper citation paper and not only that they you can also um, uh, import or export the bibtech file using this tool so it's a nice tool and in order to get the proper relevant and reliable paper against your keyword or against your title these tools plays a vital, vital tool. So this is the insightful tool. Okay. So insightful tool helps you to accelerate your research. I have already mentioned this. So there are two types of facilities available. You can also import the BibTeX file as I already mentioned and select two papers. Here see, you can give the paper title you can upload search for the title of the paper to get started you just give the paper title or doi of the paper means digital object identifier you can give the PubMed URL. URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator or ARXIV URL. ARXIV is a preprint server where you can store your paper before your publication. So from there, you just upload the ARXIV. I am going to open the ARXIV file. This is a preprint server. Computer science, mathematics, physics, there are various types of papers you will get from here. Now I am going to select the physics. Okay, now we are in blockchain technology. I am searching in blockchain.
So here XIP itself is a preprint server or e print archive, you can say, where you can store your paper before publications. With no without any review, you can upload your paper here. But uh, now they are reviewing the paper. Just, just a minute. Going to receive the paper using the A ARXIV. Okay, this is the PDF paper. The paper name is Integrating Blockchain Technology Within an Information Ecosystem. So, this paper I just collected from the ARXIV. If you see the insightful, they have already informed you. You can give the paper title. Search for the title of a paper means you just give the paper title or DOI or any ARXIV URL. And this is the XRIV URL. You just copy the entire URL and just go to there and put here. Okay. And now search. Then we see. I just copied the ARXIV URL. Now I am going to research. So insightful searching results for the ARX, ARXIV URL. Okay. Now I have already going to open the second literature review tool that is the research rabbit. Take time. And the open Alex, open Alex is the uh, archive from where they could not find the results. Please check. So I am going to select the paper title. Integrating blockchain technology within an information system. So you can also use the chat GPT extension. Okay. Now, there are various types of extensions available GPT to make your research more productive okay so these tools helps you to give the academic paper how to search academic papers right way relevant way so the insightful research rabbit kenyas so i'm not going to demo you just see okay i have already searched results for the paper title, Integrating Blockchain Technology 
within an information ecosystem. Here you see, this only, only these papers have displayed by the tools. But if you search this content using the Google, you will get near about one crore results that are not um, uh, possible for a researcher to select the exact relevant paper. But these tools, insightful tools, AI tools, gives you the relevant and reliable paper against this title only. Just see, this paper has been published in 1978, cited by 5310 and citing zero. Now you, I want to see this paper only, okay? Add paper once and the view graph. The name of the journal is Journal of Law and Economics. You just see the graph. Okay, there is the graph. It will give you the similar papers. It will give the most important papers. It will give you the review papers. Which papers have been cited by the top authors, 100 authors, the most important recent papers and upcoming authors and top authors in this field, top institutions, top journals, similar journals. So you just see, Google will never give you such type of information. Okay. But this tool gives you all the information that are very much relevant and reliable to this paper. And not only that, they will give also the graph. If you see this graph, you can analyze most important paper, review papers. So everything regarding this one. Again, you can suppose the top author. Who is the top author? This section tries to identify the top authors in the network. So the top author name is Oliver E. Williamson. So upcoming authors, so which paper, recent paper by the top 100 authors in this field. So everything you will get. So this will help you to make your literature review faster or to accelerate your research review. You can use these important features from this tool that is called Insight Pool. But it will take huge time if I uh, demo, uh, if I give uh, demonstrations of this tool. It is a big tool and it will take time. Near about uh, 20 or 30 minutes it will take to analyze all those things. You just see. This, this paper has been cited by 4,996 citing, published. It is not a open access. And papers in graph, citations in graph. So like this way, it will help you to produce the results, literature review. And another tool that is the research rabbit. They're very interesting tools. But it is taking time to open. And another tools, uh, do your do hours worth of reading in minutes. That is the tool name is SciSpace. So SciSpace, you can see the literature review. You can extract data from PDFs, read with AI copilot and paraphrasing. All those things you will get in one platform. That is called the, the name of the tool is SciSpace. I just see. Try asking or searching for how does climate change impact biodiversity? Okay. The internet so taking time just a bit. So it's our previous name was typeset.io, but now it has been derived as size space. Extract data from PDFs, radio. You can do 
such type of things using the size space. So due to internet, I am not uh, giving you the demo. You know, file relevant papers from 282 million of papers, the number one search engine curated for science. We just upload your paper, and once you upload the paper, you can extract the data from the paper. So it's a literature review. You just see. Insight from top five papers. Actual, I just give how does climate change impact biodiversity? It was my, my question was, how does climate change impact biodiversity? So this tool gives insight from top five papers. Paper 10, you just see. And now, this is a PDF, open access, top tier papers, more filters here, you can filter it. And the popular columns, you just see. TLDR, TLDR is a summarizer tool. You can also the conclusion, you can summarize introduction. So everything, whatever you want to do, just PDF. This is the PDF file and ask copilot. You can also ask the question from here, okay? This is the, here you can ask the questions. Write your question here, impact of, just click. You can also start questioning. Test. And now see. Size space is one of the most important tools. Whatever you want to do, whether it is a literature review, summarization, paraphrase, everything you will get from this single platform. Okay. So whether it is open access, I just give the one question. And it gives top five papers, insight from top five papers, Google will never give you, including the citation site. They have cited, save to notebook, add to column, more filters, keywords, journal, conferences, ERs, publications, you can add such type of publication type. Here you can see the PDF, because it is a free, that is why you will get the, PDF. This is the open access journal, and this is the DOI. So everything you will get. So it will help you to faster do your literature review. That is the tool name is Size Space. Okay, and another tool is the. It's a very important tool. That is the Explain Paper. The name of the tool is the Explain Paper. Uh, you can just uh, fastest way to read research paper. So there are various type of, you just upload your paper and then you can uh, start your confusing text, whatever you have, you just highlight the content. And once you highlight the content, you can start asking, you can start questionings regarding the topic. So it's a good tool. The name of the tool is explain paper. There are various type of tools that is the open date. Okay, and, and the Enago read, it's a, also a good uh, tool. So like this way, I'm not going to uh, discuss all those tools. If you want to see hands-on session or interactive way, I have already blocked every, each and every tools in my blog, researchersize.com. You can visit and you will get the hands-on, means step-by-step -step methods I have already elaborated and discussed in my blog, okay? So I am not going to enter detail. There are various type of tools like Canva, uh, Kinias, iris.ai, Research Rabbit. Research Rabbit is a nice tool. And for academic writing, you can use the paper pulp. I will suggest you everyone to use the paper part because it lets you write high quality thesis or dissertations faster and easier. So paper poll you can use in your MS Word also because there are paper poll extensions. Once you use the paper poll extensions, you can add the paper poll to your MS Word 
and then you can start writing your academic content. So this tool allow you, this tool allows you to write high quality content thesis. And besides, it also permits you to check grammar, spelling, punctuation, plagiarism issues. Not only that, it also checks your manuscript for dex rejection. Okay, dex rejection means from the very beginning, uh, once you submit your paper, the uh, scrutiny, first process, such as plagiarism, word count, formatting, references, figure, tables, everything you can format or you can add using this paperful tool. So I will suggest everyone to use the paperful tool and uh, to make your academic writing more faster, accurate, and comprehensive. Okay, and it uh, not only that, it also identifies and improves the problem areas before you submit your paper for publications. So every possibilities and every lacuna, I mean, every uh, drawbacks, whatever drawbacks you have in your paper, you will get before your submission using the paper for software. Okay. And now uh, there are various AI tools for note taking. Ones of them very important Obsidian. Obsidian you can use Ryan. And I think Logsec is a open source. You can use the open source. Notion is the best tool. Notion is the best tool for note taking for AI tools. And listen to your research to academic scholar is also a good paper. Canva. Canva is a nice tool. Anyone can use to uh, uh, produce your slides, or to generate your uh, poster paper, to generate video, audio, and AI-based content writing. AI magic is there. You can use AI magic to write your academic content. So there are various types of, this is the interface of the Canva. So you can use the Canva software for various type of tools. Okay, again, I am repeating this. If you want to know more or no tools, more tools regarding the literature review, summarization, interaction with the research paper, Lazarism issue, GPT detector, then you can follow my blog, researchersites.com. So any questions from the participants? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Dr. Martin, yeah. please, can you chat box? Uh, I guess some questions is in the chat box. Chat box, okay, okay. Okay, Scholar C and useful presentation. Very nice and learning a lot of things. Please send your blog link, okay? Uh, I'm sending. Com. AI generated content will be caught by AI detect plagiarism software then that content will be rejected. What is the solution of this problem? No AI generated software, genetic software can detect the AI content, okay? Still, you just write your own way, then you rewrite or refresh it using the ChatGPT, Claude, Bing, or if you want to Indianize language, then Bing AI is the best software. I am saying it from my experience. Then you can paraphrase it. You can rewrite it. You just, you will keep in mind that whatever AI will produce and human, then it rephrase it and rewrite, then it will be more better than the AI. Human plus AI is more better than the AI. So no content will be plagiarized if you use like this way. 
uh, many of us okay, scholarship scholarship nice tool i due to time lag i have a plan to demonstration regarding the scholarship but i have no more time uh, sir for book review which tool can be used for book review if you uh, review your book chapter separately then you can use cloud uh, chat gpt uh, gpt version 4 or bing ai they will help you to review the book okay and chat gpt there are various type of extensions available uh, due to lack of time i am unable to uh, demonstrate that so such type of chat gpt extension you can use to book review there are separate type of uh, book review uh, chat gpt extensions available you can use So please use slides mode. Thank you for on board. So we prepare this one. So you can mention any publication platform. Our Coursera courses in GC recognized. Oh, it is a other question. There is there are the recorded lectures will be available on. So there are uh, no more questions available in the uh, chat box. Acha, ebni jodi karo kono question tha ke amar ke jige sotte bol. Yes, yes, hello. Uh, yes. There is no chat box. So still, if if I have any questions from the participant, they may raise your hand. They may ask directly to the speaker. Uh, dear uh, participants, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, a tool has been published. The name is the Lumi Lumina. That is a new AI tool. A uh, Silink, that is also a new AI tool. You can use for your literature review. And over 200 million open access papers, they are supporting Lumina search engine. So you can use the academic search engine, OK? Because today, whatever I have shared with you, that is fully AI powered or AI generated or AI based tool. But besides, there are various type of traditional tools that is non-AI tool are very effective and dynamic and comprehensive. You can go through for your literature review. And I have already uh, written various type of blogs uh, regarding non-traditional tool also, means, means non-AI tool. So you can also see the non-AI tool, okay? So AI tool will help you to foster your project or your research or academic writing, literature review. But you have to check. The, I am talking about the only one tool that is called the literature. The literature.com, it's a nice tool, but it is not opening now. You just give your literature title and just select the comprehensive literature review. Within uh, 30 seconds, it will give you the entire comprehensive literature review report along with its citation. But still, I'm telling you, you just check the hallucinations because hallucination is very uh, important things. You have to check manually. Otherwise, the generative AI sometimes give you, it pretends that it's a good things, but good content, but that is not a good content. You have to go through the entire content manually. Then you can repurpose it, then you can regenerate, you can re rewrite, you can rephrase. There is a paraphrasing bank also available. You can also see. Then art discovery, art discovery itself is an app. You can see, so which paper today have published, you will get the news from the Art Discovery app. Art Discovery app, you, when you uh, install, you have been asked to produce your field. Once you give your field, these tools will time to time uh, give you the proper information regarding your papers that you're in your field. So Art Discovery is also a good app. You can uh, upload, uh, you can install in your mobile also. 
and this is the the literature tool generate an analysis close and continue the literature.com okay sir what is it for your sir uh, link for your uh, Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Come, tell me. Your participants are requesting to share your blog, sir. Blog link. Okay. 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 Um, uh, again, I'm sharing. Okay. My blog is https colon site dot com. Actually, from tomorrow. We are also going to organize the faculty development program in our online university in my center. The faculty development program name is totally AI tool for academic research. It is, it's a seven day uh, program. So if anybody, anyone is interested, uh, they can apply. And today is the last day. Because only AI tools will be discussed during these seven days. Okay. So thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity to share some AI tools. There are various type of AI tools. And I have already uh, blogged uh, during the last three years AI tools. You can see it will help you. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation even also from the uh, for giving this excellent uh, session sir as as big as because the ai is now burning things in the recent um, scenario so you have taken the excellent session on the ai tool for the academic research thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you.